Hello everyone, this is Conspiracy from SurrealPSD.com uh, This is the first in our core skill series of tutorials uh, Basically what we're doing today is focusing on the pen tool um, It's the best way for making selections uh, Creating shapes, removing objects from their backgrounds All that kind of stuff And the benefits of using a pen tool as opposed to the other ones Is that you really get a, a clinical sharp edge and it basically makes work go from amateur to pro uh, I use a pencil in virtually every piece that I do and it's well worth learning so let's get started you hit P to activate the pencil or you can select it there what you want to do is make sure that paths are selected so that's what we'll be working with so I've got my layer there active and what you do is you click an anchor point and then if you notice curvature of this knife is going around like that I click the next point there and what I do is I hold down on the mouse and I pull and what that does is it contorts the path to fit around um, now what's really important when doing the pen tool is to use the keyboard and the mouse together so you notice just move that anchor point I held down control that would be command if you're on a Mac and just move that round and whilst holding down control you can mess about with the handles for the anchor points as well to just make it fit nice and snug another important shortcut to use um, is the space bar you press down space bar and you can move the work around it just saves you messing about with the scroll bars using the mouse so I'm going to do the next anchor point down here just use the anchor points by holding down control click once there because it's a nice straight line now then, aside from using control to move the anchor points like that, um, what you may want to do is use uh, the Alt button. What that does is it turns off uh, the curvature for the next line. So if you just wanted to go straight from there, you'd hit Alt and then you could do a straight line from there. So I'm just going to work around this scalpel now using spacebar to move the page up. Hold down control, move the anchor points, use the space bar to move around. Once you get quite proficient with this, you'll be able to move around objects quite fast. Cut things out very fast, but do it very clean. Right, just near in the end. With paths, what you want to do is make sure the path's closed off so the last point reaches, reaches the first point see that small zero there, that circle click on there and that will close off the path Right. so we now have a closed path that we can work with you right click on that path and you can do a number of things um, for this one I'd like to remove the knife from the background so you can go make selection feather radius is basically the softness of the edge I like things nice and sharp so I'll put it on zero you can amend that value to whatever you want so I'll hit OK now then that's created a selection we go edit copy paste and then we have that knife removed to use in your photo manipulation um, I'll just give you an example of other pieces let's try that one November that's one there this one here you can see the same surgical tools virtually everything was removed using the pen tool on here very very precise very clean another important um, keyboard function to use whilst cutting things out with a pen tool is control and plus control and minus so that allows you to easily zoom in while you're working just saves your mouse clicks and makes the workflow a lot faster um, another great feature of the pen tool is that you can create shapes with it so I'll create a new layer so it works in the same fashion as if you're creating a path running objects but you can just create your own shapes get alt there fill the path 
right click on that fill path with whatever color you want and delete the path afterwards um, that's for creating shapes so I'll show you an example this one here um, all these spikes were created using the pen tool and then the pen tool was used to create selections over that and these shadows and highlights were done using the levels command and here's a more up-to-date one uh, second splinter control plus to zoom in zoom in again to see the details and then you can see what you can do with a pencil thanks for listening guys uh, for more tutorials check out surrealpsd.com thanks